Hey hey and welcome to another video. So in this video I thought I would do something a little bit different. For a while now I've been trying to find a heatless method to curl my hair. However, I have been pretty unsuccessful. So I've tried quite a few methods. I've tried socks, I've tried tying my hair up into little buns, I've tried braids, plaits, all sorts of different methods and nothing has really worked or nothing has provided me with the perfect curl. Typically I just tend to stick to the curling wand. However, I think I have found the perfect method. So after searching YouTube, after searching Pinterest, I found the bathrobe method. But before we get any further into the video, hi, my name is Bianca. Typically I do lifestyle type videos and I just share my personal life and things that I find interesting. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, please hit that subscribe button or check out my other videos. But yes, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this hairstyle. Now the footage that you're about to see, I actually filmed last night, so I'm going to do some voiceover. Keep in mind, this was the first time that I tried this method and this was definitely my first impressions but as you can see this is how it turned out and I'm really really happy with it yeah so let's get on with the video hi and welcome to future voiceover Bianca Nathan was asleep and Ruby was obnoxiously eating a treat so you have voiceover Bianca okay so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is part your hair and brush out any knots that you have this just makes it easier once you go and wrap your hair around the robe as you can see, I found quite a few knots and I'm just making sure all of those are out. And if you can run your fingers through your hair, then you should be good to go. Now I'm just gonna take the robe and make sure it is halved. And then you're gonna place the center of the robe on the top of your head like so. So once you have placed the robe in the center of your head, you're gonna make sure that your hair is parted down the center. And then I'm just gonna grab a hair tie and hold the robe in one place on this side of my head, just so that when you're working on this side, it doesn't pull and come out of place. Okay, so now we're gonna start with wrapping your hair around the robe. Now you do this kind of like how you would braid. You grab one section of the hair and wrap it round the robe. So you grab one section and wrap it around towards the back of the robe and back under. So I'm just adding to that section of hair and then I'm going to do the same movement. I'm going to go wrap the hair towards the back and then under the robe. And now you're going to repeat this movement all the way down until there's no more hair to grab. And then we'll do that again. We're going to add to the hair, grab a section, and then we're going to wrap it around the, towards the back and then under the robe. Now it may be tricky at first, but you do end up getting the hang of it. For myself, it was quite easy because I do know how to braid my own hair. So I was able to learn this technique pretty quickly. However, if you're not able to braid your own hair, this is a lot simpler than braiding and you should be able to catch on pretty quickly what I'm doing. So just again, I've just added to the section of hair. We're going around, over the robe and under before adding another section of hair. And just as you're going along, make sure that you run your fingers through your hair just to make sure that there's no knots. And it does create tighter and neater curls if you're doing this along the way. Okay, so now we're at the end of the hair. There's no more hair to grab on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue to wrap my hair around the robe. This is why I believe that this technique or method of heatless curling is great for all hair types or all lengths of hair because you just keep wrapping around the length of the robe. Then to finish off, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab a hair tie and as you can see, I am struggling. It can be pretty difficult when you have a lot of robe left at the end. Um, you can use smaller hair ties, which means you'd have to wrap around less, but there you go, I managed. And see, it's not very neat. I didn't grab the hair in any particular order, but let's go ahead and do the other side. So same technique, I've just grabbed a section of my hair and I'm wrapping around towards the back and bringing it back to the front to add another section of hair. I hope this angle helps you out a bit better. You can see closely what I'm doing. I'm just wrapping my hair around the robe, bringing it towards the front and adding another section of hair to it. So this is why it's kind of important to brush out your hair in the very beginning to make sure that you don't have any knots. This would just make it easier for you to grab your hair. And as I mentioned before, it's kind of the same concept as braiding. You're just wrapping and continually adding pieces of hair. 
As you can see, even I get a little bit confused and it can be a little bit tricky to grab all the hair. But this was the first time that I'd actually done this method and you see I, I start getting the hang of it as we continue going through. I think another tip that I have is to make sure that you continually pull tight when you do wrap your hair around and make sure that you hold it tight. Uh, that's just going to ensure that you do have tighter curls once you undo it. If you want looser curls, then you don't need to pull as tight. I guess you just need to experiment to see what works best for your hair. I think the pieces of hair that you grab are going to determine how tight or small your curls are. So I guess the bigger the pieces of hair, the larger the curl. The smaller the piece of the hair, the smaller the curl will be. I think it's the same kind of concept as when you're curling with a curling wand. If you grab a bigger piece of hair, the curl will turn out quite loose. Okay, so we're at the end again and I'm just going to wrap what's left of my hair around the robe. As you can see, I'm wrapping quite tightly and I did this side a lot better and a lot neater than the first side. And then I'm just going to grab my hair tie and just as the first side, I'm going to wrap that around. I've seen a lot of people use those tiny clear elastics, which may be easier than a normal hair tie because you don't need to wrap around as many times. But just use whatever you have. And there you go. As you can see, it is quite loose. It's definitely not tight towards the end. So what I'm going to do, and I call this part the princess layer part, you're going to twist and create a small bun on the side of your head with what's left of the robe. I just wind that around and then what you see me do is I just tie a knot with what's left of the robe. Now if you don't feel like this is secure or you don't have enough robe or you have a lot more hair than I do, you can use a clip, you can use another hair tie, you can use a scrunchie. For me just tying a knot worked. Whatever you feel is more secure. So now we're going to go to the other side and I do the exact same thing. I just wrap the robe round into a princess layer style hair or a space bun on the side of my head and I just tie a knot and there you go. They're pretty tight and I felt like they were pretty secure and lucky for you, you're gonna see the results in just one second. Okay, so it is the next morning and I slept. As you can see, my eyes are still asleep. I am still asleep, but I've got to get off to work. So we've got to undo this hairdo and see what kind of curls it created. I'm really, really interested to see how it all turned out. Now I am a pretty rough sleeper, not rough sleeper. I think I just move around a lot. It stayed really well. Wait, let's undo this as well. This is probably the most annoying part. I didn't use little elastics, so I can't just cut them off. I've got to undo it. It looks good. It looks like it might be curled because that's the elastic and it's still wrapped around. Okay. Oh my gosh. It has actually created like a ringlet. I am so shocked. Look at these ringlets. Can you see that? Now this was my first time doing it. So I wonder if I wrapped it a little neater, the curls would be a little neater. Oh, I can't wait to do the other side now. This one I probably should have wrapped a little different. I don't know. We'll see what we can do with it. How cute. Let's do this side. I think I wrapped this side a little bit neater than I did the other side because this was my second attempt. Look how pretty that is. Like, I think that's the perfect curl. Like, that's something that I would achieve with my curling wand. Are we ready? I'm shocked. I guess then you just run your fingers through it like you would after you curl your hair with a curling wand. Like, that's crazy. Anyways, well, I guess that worked. Okay, so that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this method. I think it turned out pretty well. If you've given this method a try or if you have any other heatless curling methods, please leave them down in the comments below because I'd love to know what you've tried out. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button because it does help me out a lot. And until next time, bye guys.